the first, my guest is in the studio. Uh, here is uh, Philip Nia Sefwa, is a member of the New Patriotic Party's National Communications Team. Hi, it's good to see you. Good morning. All righty. Uh, where well, you are, the NDC's uh, uh, <laughs> regional executive uh, elections. Uh, not really, not really. Uh, you don't have any friend that is, because I get to see a lot of MPP. So when it happens, the NDC guys were also posting their MPP friends. And I was like, ah, so when it gets to the elections, who's going to be posting who? So you don't have any friend that it was contesting? Oh, um, well, I know some of them, but mm. quite distant. Yes, okay, yes, quite um, distant. I see. All right, thank you very much for coming through. And um, big one, uh, let's start off with the video. Uh, I, I'm too sure there's a video of... Um, let's take you to the, the forecourt of the Ministry of Agriculture uh, here in Accra, where there was cheap plantain being sold and one that excites some people and angers some people further. Uh, when we, after watching this, we'll have a discussion on it. Take a watch. So that's, uh, those are sights and scenes from the forecourt of the Ministry of Agriculture here in Accra, where uh, the understanding is that the initiative is to cut, if you like, foods from farm gate uh, to Accra so that uh, the incessant increments that we see on uh, the prices uh, of goods, especially, will uh, be distorted, and so we can have a balanced atmosphere in terms of that. At some point, we'll open the phone lines for you to call in and tell us what you think as well. That's an initiative. It's an exciting one, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say uh, exactly exciting because of the times that we are in. Uh, in the first place, I, would, I want to uh, say good morning to Greater Accra Regional Communication Team. Um, all the team members and some few challenges that we're facing, I will urge them to be strong. Hopefully soon all these things um, <laughs> will be things of the past. Uh, but that's the, an internal issue. Oh, but you, you uh, said it on, on air. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with it. I've not even disclosed anything. I'm just greeting my, 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 my friends. You, <laughs> use the platform. You, are, you are sharing fear and panic for free. Oh, no, no, they are my, I mean, uh, my good friends. I'm okay, just sharing, I, I, Ali, because I know some of them are not happy about a few issues. So okay, these are internal issues. Okay. It has nothing to do with the economy. Okay, challenge. I see. Right, so my, hmm. my basic um, you know, initial comments are about uh, two. I believe the, the agri minister mm -hmm. initiating this objective or this agenda I know it's not mainly to limit it to what has actually started. 
my understanding is that this is basically a kind of um, a pilot arrangement they are doing and see how best eventually government can come in to somehow, some way, introduce a mechanism that will look like the produce buying arrangement in the, in the past. The challenge has been, in fact, if in, the, in those days, the challenge has been our attitude and management of state agencies and state institutions. Otherwise, the challenge we are going through today uh, shouldn't really be, uh, I mean, what we should be facing as a country because we had actually anticipated some of these problems uh, in the area of cutting goods from various farm gates to the city centers. It was something that was there. I mean, that's based on that arrangement, the produce buying was introduced. But you could clearly see that um, the produce by itself could not survive um, due to abuse of, I mean, that uh, program, that arrangement. What I mean, times are you talking about here? I'm talking about some, I can't actually pinpoint, but I believe that it should be in about seven, five, four, five administrations past. Maybe uh, not even in the Fourth Republic. I think it started even before the Fourth Republic. So uh, it, it was something that uh, was initiated in the in time past in this country. Unfortunately, we could not survive it. But you can. When you say survive, it was not sustainable. Yes, exactly. It was. Not, it was not sustained, and you could clearly see that um, with all this happening. That's exactly the situation that should be coming back. Otherwise, uh, because if there is no involvement of government, or of government and is left to the uh, private players throughout in this area of food distribution, uh, the cost issues will definitely be what we'll be faced with as it is now. But uh, there's always been the issue of private players in terms of farmers who are also individuals like you and I. Uh, the challenges they are faced mostly is the issue of roads, good roads. Now, by extension, now the fuel. Yeah. So the point, people, the, the, there's been a lot of questioning. I mean, even before, after the president had uh, announced the, that initiative of cutting goods from the farm gates, uh, almost all stakeholders in the agricultural sector had spoken largely about it and said it was not sustainable. It, some even termed it as laughable because then you are not dealing with the issues, and so clearly is not sustainable and so this again when you hear them i don't know whether you paid attention to the commentaries almost all of them um mr carraway all of them they still were angered by this because people's goods are still left at the farm gate they cannot bring them to city centers and these are just selected fields we understand the piloting but i don't know how if we've spoken about sustainability but whether this angers the system more? Well, it shouldn't anger the system. Mm. It should basically be seen as an initiative by government uh, as a response to a challenge that we are faced with mm. as a country now. But let me uh, explain something. Mm. Um, this, the whole thing we are talking about, is purely a case of economics and theories. Mm -hmm. And depending on the approach you actually coming from, mm -hmm and the way we want to tackle it. Some people would want to say that allow all the market forces to play. 100% market forces playing, you are likely to see what you are currently experiencing. Mm -hmm. Now, there are other situations where you can also say that, oh, okay, um, looking at our system, the imperfections in the system, in the market, um, can we as a government come in at the point of maybe getting the goods from the farm gates to probably specific destinations, mm -hmm. so that retailers can reach, uh, uh, maybe, where, for example, goods can be cut from uh, maybe Juaboso from, uh, I mean, some parts of the country, uh, very, very far parts of the country, maybe to specific centers like in Sawam, Madina, Tema, and other, I mean, city centers, and uh, maybe beyond that, the, somewhere, Takradi and other places, particularly the major city areas. So cut, well, that, school thought, saying, that school of thought, cutting by who? Government. That's why I'm saying that in a situation like this, uh, you know, if you leave that aspect mm. to private players, mm. um, the 
possibility of abuse in terms of taking advantage of the current situation and overcharging uh, people, mm. or overcharging even to the retailers, definitely will be a challenge for the whole country. You so I'm saying mm, that I'm mm, saying that mm -hmm. maybe it can be a deliberate decision by a government. Okay. That look, we are in we are not in normal times. Mm -hmm. For the time being, can we actually initiate a system? I mean, to bring in somehow this produce buying arrangement. Mm -hmm cut the goods on the fine gate uh -huh. to specific city centers and then at those city centers it's not even for the general public or maybe the uh, consumer to buy but mainly you can target mostly the retailers so a retailer who does all sells uh, her goods at abu uh -huh. can go to amasaman and get the goods a relatively cheaper price because if the government does the cutting and it means that you have heavy trucks to move heavy goods to specific uh, destination. Uh -huh. if, we cost, if we calculate the full content, it should not be too high. Probably, even as a government, you may put in a small margin just to keep the system running because people will be working around it. If you structure a very good, I mean, cost arrangement for that, and then you allow that to flow within times like this, um, I'm sure it's a way of trying to minimize the situation. And I guess that's the direction the ministry is looking at. I don't think this is meant to be I mean, a permanent arrangement, mm -hmm. just because we are in difficult times. Then it begs the question, what are the permanent solutions? And for how long have we sat to get to this point? Because again, I'm too sure when you are even going to sign a contract, you understand that these things will come in, and so you prepare for it. Mm. So for how long have we waited? And while we are doing this on ad hoc basis, what are we going to do to permanently solve this so that in any case where we are, we are, we are here, we might not come back looking for these ad hoc, you know, interventions? Yes, yeah, so, you uh, see... Um, and it does not look like there's uh, any... No, no, no. I think, I think, I think solution in sight in terms of permanent, on no, permanent basis. No, I wouldn't say that... It, I think some some months ago, before mm. now, mm -hmm. before where we are now, mm -hmm. I think this issue has never came up. How is that? The, I'm talking about the issue of the price of farm produce. No, no, I mean, it was still there, but this time, the incessant the, increment maybe, exactly. in is because of... Exactly. But, but, but I'm saying that if you compare, compare what is happening today, mm -hmm. where you are experiencing about three, four times the price that we were paying, maybe in some six, seven months ago, that situation wasn't like this. No, no, not at all. So what that, what that tells you is that something has actually brought about what we are in. Mm -hmm. And just as the government is saying that these are not good, these are not normal times, mm -hmm. meaning there are external exogenous uh, uh, challenges, mm -hmm. external uh, challenges that have actually caused this thing. So what we say is that when things change mm -hmm. as a government, things that actually have changed and they are affecting the economy in an abnormal way, mm -hmm. That's why we have a government. So you bring leadership into a situation like this to normalize the situation. Mm -hmm. When the situation gets at a normal level, probably in going into the future when these dollar issues are stabilized, also uh, the fuel uh, issue has also gone down, and we believe that at that point, things can actually take shape, then gradually government can withdraw. Mm -hmm. Because eventually the pri uh, private players must take over. You understand? Otherwise, any time, because the experience of the PBC told us that even, not even that alone, but a, a lot of government initiatives related to issues like this, the moment the government makes it a full-time permanent project, you get people who are employed and they take the job, I mean, the way they like. Mm. But if, well, for now, you are using it to solve a problem, that's okay. So you Temporary. say government must regulate it this time? Yes, at least. That must be a deal. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, uh, my, my position when it comes to governance mm -hmm. is not about allow, uh, allowing the uh, free market economy to operate the way it, it has to operate all the time. That's why there must be a leadership. Because the markets can be abused. And that's exactly what we are, we are faced with. A slight challenge, people can take advantage and destroy the markets. Okay, so